So we're going to look at uh, problem solving involving slopes of parallel lines. And the first point we want to look at is show that the following points are the vertices of a parallelogram. And what we're going to do is plot these points to get an idea of what this means. But you also have to keep in mind that a parallelogram means that it's a four-sided figure where the opposite sides are parallel. Now here's our parallelogram and what you can notice is that the opposite sides, and it's kind of skinny so it's tough, tough to see, but the opposite sides are sides AB and sides CD. So we have to prove that those two sides are parallel. And also sides AD and BC are par um, opposite. So we have to show that those two sides are um, are parallel. So going back to our question now, what we have to do is show that slope AB and CD are the same and so we calculate the slope by using the equation y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and here we're going to allow the points in B to be the second point and the points in A to be the first point. So this is y2, this is y1, x2 is 14, um, y1 is, uh, sorry, x1 is 2. So we sub into the equation, so 11 minus 1 and 14 minus 2, and make sure you get the order correct. And that simplifies to be 10 over 12, which reduces to 5 over 6. Now looking at CD, the slope we can calculate the same way. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2 is negative 5, y1 is 5, y2, or sorry, x2 is negative 6, and x1 is 6. So negative 5 take away 5 over negative 6 take away 6 is negative 10 over negative 12. When you divide it, uh, the negative signs cancel out, and so you end up with 10 over 12. 10 over 12 reduces to 5 over 6. So since lines A, B, and C, D have the equal slopes, these lines are parallel. So the first set of lines we've shown to be parallel. So now I have to look at slopes B, C, and A, D. And going through the same steps um, will allow C to be the second point. So 5 minus 11 over 6 minus 14. And that, that simplifies to be negative 6 over negative 8. And once again, that reduces to 3 over 4. For AD, we're going to allow the D to be the second point, so to be negative 5, take away 1, and negative 6, take away 2. And when you subtract these and watch your signs, it ends up being, again, negative 6 over negative 8, which also reduces to 3 over 4. And since BC and AD have equal slopes, these two lines are parallel. And that means, then, that since... AB is parallel to CD and BC is parallel to AD, then ABCD is a parallelogram. Quite a mouthful. So going back to the diagram, what this means is that these two lines, we showed that the slopes were equal, so those two lines are parallel. And also uh, CD and AB had equal slopes, so those two lines are parallel. So the opposite sides of the parallelogram uh, have equal slopes. So let's look at another question. And line segment ha um, has a slope 3 over 4, and one endpoint A is negative 4 and negative 3, and the other endpoint is going to be 12y. So we don't know what the y coordinate is for the other endpoint. So what we have to do is write down what we're given. We're given that the slope is 3 over 4. We're also given from uh, the this that x1 is negative 4, and we're also given x2, which is 12. So the here's our x2, and here's our x1. We're also given y1 as negative 3. So the only thing that we don't know is what the second y coordinate is, and what we're going to use then is the formula slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what we can do is substitute in 
and anytime you're not too sure what to do, you use your formulas and sub in. And we end up with 3 over 4, which is our slope from above. And we just subbed in the values for y2. Um, that's unknown, so we're just going to put down y. We're going to remove the subscript because it'll be confusing to you if you don't. And minus negative 3. We also have x2 is 12. Take away x1 is minus negative 4 from up here. So now what we have to do is solve for y. And we do that, first of all, by simplifying. And the bottom, the denominator here, simplifies to be 16. And we can write this y minus uh, negative 3 as y plus 3. So now what we're going to do is cross multiply. And remember that in a form like this, we can cross multiply. We just have to make sure that we multiply y plus 3 by 4 and 3 times 16. So after we cross multiply, we end up with 48 equals 4y plus 12. And remember, when we use a distributive property, we have to multiply everything inside the bracket by 4. So now what we have to do is subtract 12 from both sides. So all I've done is switch this around and subtract the 12 from both sides. Next, it, the, le the right side simplifies to be 36, and the left side simplifies to be 4y. So we divide both sides by 4 to isolate the y, and we get y equals 9. So therefore, the other endpoint is 12, 9. So now, if we take a look at what this looks like on a graph, um, what we're going to start off with is our, we'll plot our point A, which is negative 3, sorry, negative 4 and negative 3. So we go over to negative 4, down to negative 3, and we're going to plot our point. And from there, we're told that the slope is th uh, 3 over 4. So that means that our rise is 3, our run is 4, and we plot keep plotting points like this, up 3 over 4 up 3 and over 4. And you'll notice that here we've got, as we follow along this line, we get coordinate of 12, 9, which was what we found B to be. And here our x coordinate is 12, and here our x coordinate is 12. So we've answered our question, or verified our question, graphically.